The first BMW X2 was always a bit of an odd car. Considering the even X range in BMWs always used to be and still are coupe SUVs, the original X2 was a proper crossover however. Well that's all changed on the next generation of BMW X2. The new BMW X2 is now basically a BMW X1 coupe. This also means that there is an electric version. Let's have a look and see if it is worth buying the X2 over the X1, and the same with the iX2 over the iX1. Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Cars and More. This is the number one place to be for car news and reviews. Sit back, buckle up, let's go. Let's start with the design of the BMW X2 and iX2, and to start with it has a different front end to the normal X1. We get a much wider kidney grille setup, and with the iX2 we get a modern diamond design on it which I do quite like. We also get some sporty headlights that look similar to the 5 series ones, and also just like the 5 series and even the 7 series the grille surround lights up at night so everyone knows you're in a BMW. The bumper also looks sporty, copying the look of the X6 facelift with the gloss black paneling connecting the kidney grills to the big central air vent. The side vents are also quite big and the creases on the bumper and even the bonnet are definitely exaggerated to make this car look more sportier and even more menacing than before. Moving around to the side and we get a minimalistic design. To show its premium sides we get some body coloured finished cladding round the wheel arches and we also get minimal creases along the sides as well as flush door handles to make this car more aerodynamic, especially for the electric version. Everything about the car from the B pillar to the front is BMW X1, that's in terms of structure that is, but from the B pillar backwards it has an all new sloping roof design. And this really suits the car considering it is a quite a small and chunky car. It looks long and elegant and not squashed together like what I thought it would originally be. I also like this green colour. This is BMW Individual Frozen Tampa Bay Green. Wheel sizes range from 19 inches all the way to 22 inches. Moving around to the back and we get again a minimalistic design. I must admit I wasn't sure of it at first but it has grown on me. Personally I would have liked a bit more of a boot on the back but I can live with what we have here. On all models though we do get a gloss black spoiler and on this X2 M35i model it is an extended version of it. The tail lights mimic the headlight style which looks modern and futuristic. The boot opening though only houses the badge and model designation which does look a bit too plain for me and I would have liked the number plate on the boot opening but the bumper does look very sporty especially on this X2 M35i model. We have lots of gloss black surrounds and a fake lower diffuser. It also has real exhausts at the back which is very rare to find especially big ones like what this car has. The BMW iX2 still has a gloss black spoiler and lower fake diffuser too and even the surrounds but where the exhausts are they are fake gloss black grills. Talking of exhausts let's have a look and see what engine options you can have with the BMW X2 and also what battery and motor options you can have with the BMW iX2. So let's start with the iX2 as this is the most important version. It only comes in M Sport trim but there are two different versions. The first one is called E-Drive 20. This has a single motor setup on the front wheels producing 202 brake horsepower. It is mated to a 66.5 kilowatt hours battery pack which gives you about 280 miles of range. 0 to 62 is dealt within 8.6 seconds which isn't that bad. Charging takes 6.5 hours on an 11 kilowatt fast charger, but if you charge it to 130 kilowatts DC, then this will take only 29 minutes from 10 to 
The next version is called xDrive 30. This has a dual motor setup creating four wheel drive but also 303 brake horsepower. This can do 0 to 62 in 5.6 seconds. It uses the same battery pack as the eDrive 20 but range has been reduced to 265 miles because of the extra power. Charging speeds are the same though. The price of the BMW iX2 starts at £51,615. Now let's have a look at the X2. This can only be had with a petrol engine and all BMW X2s can only be had with an automatic gearbox too. Let's start with the S-Drive 20i. This uses a 1.5 litre turbo engine which has 168 brake horsepower. This can do 0 to 62 in 8.3 seconds and it is front wheel drive. The next version is the hot M35i model. This has a 2 litre 4 cylinder turbo engine producing 298 brake horsepower and the power is sent to all four wheels. 0 to 62 is dealt within 5.4 seconds which is very good for this type of car. The price of the BMW X2 starts at £40,515. Let's have a look at the interior. So getting inside the new BMW X2 and you are welcomed with a premium interior. Let's start with the dashboard design. Unlike before, the dashboard now has a landscape design which makes the car feel much wider than before. We get a dual screen setup piece like what you would find in a Mercedes and this is for your instrument cluster and infotainment system. This infotainment system is running the latest iDrive 9 software which runs Google in the background, although you wouldn't notice. It works very well and is very quick and easy to use. The only downside is though is that I would have liked the iDrive controller that you don't get it anymore on lower BMW models. The centre console houses a wireless charging pad and a seatbelt style to hold it in place which is very clever. You also get plenty of storage in the centre console too and a floating upper centre console style and this houses your gear selector and other important switches like the mode switch. The steering wheel also feels modern and sporty and on this X2 M35i model it has a top dead centre mark, again giving it a sportier feel. The seats on this model too are sportier and they also have a built in headrest on this version. They are supportive and comfy and that to be honest they are one of the best seats you can get in a lower spec BMW. The door cards are also interesting and have a lot of this 3D style and plenty of metal material finishes to it too. Let's have a look at the rear seats as this could be a deal breaker between this and the BMW X1. So, getting into the back, and whilst headroom isn't the best because of the sloping roof, it isn't that bad. Legroom is just like the BMW X1 too. You can sit free in the back as there is hardly any hump in the floor, and the seat bench is also quite wide. One thing to bear in mind though is that the floor in the normal X2 is lower than the iX2, and this is because of the batteries. This will cause the same problem as the Mercedes EQA which I will be reviewing very soon. The premium materials continue into the back though and you get your own air vents, armrests as well as two USB-C ports. Let's have a look at the boot. So opening the boot to the BMW X2 and you are welcomed with a decent 560 litres of boot space. Which isn't that bad and it is better than some of its rivals. The electric version is down though to 525 litres, but again it is better than some of its rivals and you also get some underfloor storage for the cables as it does not have a front boot, but as it has storage for the cables then I can live with that. Folding the seats down you get 1470 on the X2 and 1400 on the iX2. Again, this is decent and considering it has a hatchback style opening, it is quite practical to put big items in too. So, what do I think of the new BMW X2 and iX2? Well, it is a very, very good car. 
the looks are on point and although it has a sloping roof over the X1, it is still practical enough for it to be a decent car. The driving characteristics aren't the best over its rivals because of the harsh suspension setup, but it is plenty powerful enough and the steering is quite good too. A proper BMW then. Well, which one should you go for? Well, it comes down to if you need an electric car or not. If you don't need an electric car, then I would save money and go for the normal BMW X2 as it is just as good and is very efficient. There is also more choice too. If you go for an electric version, then you are still getting a very good car with decent range and performance. Personally no, I would go for the BMW X2 M35i. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.